gesture and defeat. Hey guys, welcome to The Awakening. Um, today I want to talk about the fact that I've just done a massive interview, well a newsflash, with a great guy that is explaining to you everything about the masks. Everything. The ins and outs, the outs, the in, and so you can watch that on newsflash. But I'm telling you here, this mask thing, it's not the truth, okay? It's just a distraction, it's just a symptom. The same way as cancer is a symptom of the body getting too tired or missing out on nutrients or something or your mind, body, spirit not being balanced or stress. It, this virus, this mask, everything that they're putting out there is just a symptom of, of a society that is crumbling, of a system that is disgusting and corrupt and doesn't care about you and me, doesn't care about anything except greed and itself. And, you know, I, I woke up with this thought in my mind today that what, if they're gonna, whatever they tell you, whether it's a war or a virus or a mask or bodysuits or whatever else they're going to tell you, the media is going to tell you, not the government. The government haven't even put it out that you have to wear a mask. This is just a lie and I'm going to show you a newsflash. Everything is just a symptom. It's just what's on the surface. It's not what's going on inside. It's not what's going on underneath which we all know is the sex trafficking, the paedophilia, the corruption, the greed, what they've tried to, what they've turned our, our world into, a cesspool, a total cesspool where no one is safe anymore, where some people have made trillions, you need to know this, they've made trillions from this and other people have lost their businesses. Um, the pandemic is just a symptom, okay? So, they created it in order to make unrest between us, to rule and divide, to create a lot of discomfort, to make us unhappy, to screw us up, to confuse us. Okay, this mask thing is just another symptom. And I, if I can wake one person up by watching this, it's nothing to do with a mask, it's nothing to do with a virus, a not, you know, a non-contagious bug that they admitted in March. It's to do with what's lying underneath it. Okay? The same thing is, everything is a symptom. Anger, fear is a symptom. It's just covering up your helplessness. It's covering up the void. It's like addictions cover up the void inside us the emptiness. Now they've managed to, to put us against each other. I hate you because you're not wearing a mask or I like you because you are wearing a mask or you're my enemy because you're wearing a mask, yada yada yada. Do you see what they've done? They've ruled and divided us as usual. They've created another war and that's all they want to do. They want to create wars, continuously create wars. That is their plan to put us against each other, to hate each other, to rule and to divide. They've done it from the beginning of time. It's what they do. And now you need to wake up and understand. These are all symptoms. I wrote a little book years ago called The Little Book of Pain Relief and I said, if your body, if you have a headache, your body is telling you something, right? It's telling you you might need more water. It's telling you you might need to sleep more. It's telling you that maybe you're stressed out or something. If you don't take heed of that headache, then that headache will become a migraine. If you don't take care of that migraine, that migraine will become high blood pressure. If you don't take care of high blood pressure, that will become a heart condition, you'll have a stroke, whatever. You see where I'm going with this? 
symptoms. If you don't stand up now and say no to this face covering, it's not a mask, face covering. If you don't say no, then they will say, well, it's okay, we can get away with it. We'll do something else. If you don't say no to what they're doing to innocent children, they'll say, oh, we can get away with it. They'll do something else. They're pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing. Now is the time to say no and to say, you know what? I'm wide awake. This is just a symptom, an eating disorder, drinking, taking drugs. They're symptoms, guys. Everything that you go through is a symptom of a corrupt, disgusting, nefarious system, an empire. Nothing has changed. They've been throwing people to the lions. Remember, they threw the Christians to the lions from the beginning of times. Nothing has changed. They've just got worse and worse and more in our faces now. And now they think they can control us by telling us to shut up, to be quiet, and to not breathe, okay? And until you realize that this is just a symptom, you can't wake up. I went into the therapeutic community with all these symptoms of anxiety and panic and fear and depression and all sorts of things and I, I cried and I had therapy and I sat with it and I went underneath, underneath, underneath and I realized that the real cause of this was childhood abuse. And the fact that I thought I was guilty, it was my fault, it wasn't my fault, it was the stupid parents that sent me to this person, it was the bastard that abused me. These were the symptoms that my body and my mind created. Mental illness is a symptom of all of you that you've been shocked. They took away everything from you. They never gave you opportunities, they took away your lives, your jobs, your children. They wouldn't let you look after kids like me. They wouldn't let me adopt. They wouldn't let me work. Symptoms of this corrupt, disgusting system. And we're not going to get well until we change it from the core. And that's what happened in the therapeutic community. I had time to figure out where these symptoms were coming from, what they meant, and I was able to change it from the core. Take care, love you lots, have a beautiful day or beautiful evening. Watch the news flash I'm putting on. You don't have to wear a mask, only face coverings, in the UK anyway. You can check it all out, we're telling you everything. Please subscribe, share and like and donate. PayPal.me forward slash moving on theatre if you can. If not, come on board Moving On TV, grow with me and we'll barter. Love you lots, take care now, bye. Crocom. Who else? Everyone is Charlie who's bringing you the love to release the kids, the king of cups everywhere. So we can turn the wheel of fortune around. The karma to release the kids because they are trapped. These are the cards I pulled today, guys. This is the awakening for today. This is the awakening. Standing tall with our swords, bringing back the power, the emperor, to heal all the broken hearts in the world, letting go of the broken hearts, healing all the broken hearts in the world, bringing back our kids, ending SRA. Innocence and love for all of you. That's the awakening for today. Please share it everywhere. Take care. Bye.